gang, it's OG here, back with another video, schmidio, in this hole, if you ain't know. <laughs> you guys are joining me from my hotel room right now. Um, I just decided to just come get away. It's just something that I like to do. Um, I don't overthink traveling by myself. I just do it. And yeah, so we're here. So you guys are joining me from the hotel room. Um, I just wanted to record this video because it was on my mind. Um, and yeah, so we are talking about reparenting yourself while doing that inner child work. So if you guys pay attention to my older videos, not really older videos, but previous videos, I talk about family issues. I talk a little bit about my childhood upbringing um, and just why I'm on this healing walk. Um, if you don't know or if you're not familiar with my platform, I speak openly and honestly about how mental health issues played a part in my life in hopes to heal somebody else. Um, so basically, what I've said in previous videos, and I'll just say it again, I had a shitty childhood, very traumatic childhood, um, negligence out the wooza, and it just turned me into a non-functioning adult. So God loves your girl so much that she put me through that so that I could open my eyes to how to heal, how to rise above all of that so that I can help somebody else. So we've been thugging it. We've been thugging it on this healing path and I now have I got an arsenal of tools on how to deal with the fact that your childhood has turned you into a non-functioning adult. And one of the thing, one of the tools is doing inner child work and reparenting yourself. I'm gonna make this video really short and sweet because I wanna get in the shower and I wanna just relax. But it's imperative that you learn to reparent yourself or parent yourself in general if you didn't have, uh, if you didn't grow up with healthy parenting styles, basically. So for me, like, I don't know how to do a lot of things or I didn't know how to do a lot of things and I still, there are still things that I'm learning how to do as an adult, like, taking care of myself in certain ways. Like I had to really understand like, girl, you're fucked up. You're really fucked up. It's not your fault. You were neglected as a child. You were abused as a child, but like now you're fucked up. What the fuck? Um, but one of the things that I've learned how to do is pay attention to my emotions and how to reparent myself. And just reparenting yourself, or parenting yourself is basically just acting as the mother and the father that you never had. So, transparency moment. I'm, me in this hotel room right now is a form of me deciding to reparent myself because I've been really stressed out, trying to find my balance between being in the school system now, being out of school every day, plus running my business, plus making content, plus just being able to be there for myself. So me coming here is just me just like surrendering and me parenting myself. And I really sat down with myself on Friday when I got left the school. I was like, girl, you're tired. Girl, you're so tired. You deserve a break. You deserve a break. Let's give you a break. And I was talking to my inner child, talking to myself as a parent would do. And so the parent in me, I guess you can call it that, decided, let's take you on a little getaway. Let's check into a hotel. Let's relax. Let's just get away from all the shit, all the bullshit, all of it, and just reset. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna, I'm making it simple. A simple way to reparent yourself is to sit down, figure out what's going on with you, and then talk to yourself as the parent you never had. What would the parent you never had say or do for you in those moments of distress? Whatever that is, that's what you go and do. That's what you do. 
it's not always easy to start reparenting yourself because if you grew up with a certain level of neglect and abuse, you don't even feel worthy of, you just don't feel worthy of anything good. And so for me, a lot of times I have to talk myself into doing good things for myself or talk myself into just self-caring on a high level. When I say high level, I'm talking radical self-care. A lot of people would be like, girl, you just checked into a hotel. Like you could have just went home and burned some candles. No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. That's not telling my brain that we're relaxing. That's not telling my brain that we are taking a break. That's, that's not right now at least because right now i'm from the school to home to the yoga studio or from school to home to a client session or from school to home to whatever so i need to check out all of that and check in to some peace and so here we are here we are so i just challenge you to just sit with yourself sit with your emotions figure out what you need and give yourself what you need need okay give yourself what you need learn to reparent yourself it's not just checking into hotels and radical self-care but it's also other stuff like going to see a dentist going to see a gynecologist like these are things that children with neglect or who grew up with neglect uh, these are things that they have to learn to do. These are things that I had to learn to do. Like, literally, I had to learn how to function as an adult, bro. And if you really have been neglected or you've lacked whatever it is that you needed in child in your childhood, you got to pay attention to it. You got to give yourself that grace. and You got to love yourself enough to give yourself what you need. You are deserving of all good things. You are deserving of all good things. I really want you to know that. You are deserving of all good things. This video is not for everybody. This video is for those people who have been neglected as children, abused as children, and they're trying to learn how to function as adults. For a long time, I just didn't even think I was worthy of anything good. Just constantly in survival mode, penny pension not taking care of myself the way I need to. So now it's like I just went, did a complete 360 and I'm just on the complete opposite end of the totem pole now. Like we are full blown self care to the max. You feel me? You feel me? Because I've learned to parent myself and the parent that I want and need would take care of me to the T, to the T. This is no shade to my parents. I love my parents. They did the best they could with what they had. They did the best they could with what they knew how to do, if that makes sense. It's, it's generational. I'm past the point where I'm like, fuck my parents for, for doing this, this, and this, this, and this. It's a generational curse and that shit stops with me. You feel me? Period. Period. So that's it. That's really all I have right now. I think I... I I went downstairs and I had two drinks and them shits really hit me. So that's really probably why I'm not going as deep as I need to with this video. But I know that it'll reach somebody and I'll go a little bit deeper when I take some time to really write it out. But when I was driving today, I was like, you need to talk to them about reparenting themselves. You need to talk to them about inner child work. Sit with that inner child. Do an inner child meditation. That's what I need to do. I need to record an inner child meditation for you guys, but there are some on YouTube that you can play around with. But just envision that child. Envision the things that that child went through and give that child what she needs in adulthood. It's not always going to, it's not going to be like you're an adult now. So you need to give your adult self the things that your adult self needs that's time away do that don't think about money or whatever else money flows to you with little to no effort that's my affirmation money flows to me with little to no effort so we don't worry about shit like that just give yourself what you need okay that's 
all I got for you. I hope it was something. If it wasn't, I still love you and I hope you still love me. OG Goddess Blaze, out.